Hi guys, welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial, I am gonna show how to create product animation with Cinema 4D, Element 3D and After Effects. Let's get started. For product modeling and texturing, we will use Cinema 4D. Let's open Cinema 4D. I use Air 21. And let's click this icon and click front go to options and configure let's go to back and select this image select folder link ctrl c and click front back and image let's click this icon and ctrl v folder link press enter okay select this sample and import okay nice then let's click top preview and again back click this icon select this sample and import nice so in this time let's make cylinder okay and move to right change rotation segments 60 and and change scale like this okay nice let's click this icon and change perspective cylinder height okay and back to front move to here okay not bad then select the cylinder and change name object 1 and select this object hold control move to down for duplicate this object and change object name object main okay let's change scale cylinder height and radius Okay, not bad. Let's change again height. So, go to display and change shading. Let's see. Okay, size is not bad. So, let's make materials. Go to here. New default material or control air again control air again we have three materials let's first material add name object gold and open material change color gold let's move to here okay next material texture and this material body let's change object main body okay select this body let's move to here open material options change blue and open texture material options click here texture and select this texture classic let's see okay this is my texture and click import click no nice so go to display and let's see shading lines okay let's back to front so 
select this body and click this icon editable make editable and click this icon right mouse and loop path cut let's make one cut here or here and next cut here okay maybe not bad click move tool and click this icon select this go to select loop selection okay select these loops and hold shift select these loops this and this okay maybe not bad then select the texture and let's use okay So in this time again select this icon and right mouse loop path cut make one cut here and next cut here select this edge tool select and loop selection select this loops and click move tool right mouse and select extrude let's extrude this object like this and click scale tool change scale okay then click this icon and move tool go to here make subdivision surface and select this body move to inside this subdivision surface okay nice let's go to display and change shading okay maybe not bad so in this time select again body let's hide this subdivision select this body go to display shading lines and click this icon right mouse loop path cut and let's make again one cut here okay and click move tool and select this tool okay select here go to select and loop selection let's select this loop and this this and this and select this texture let's move to here okay nice then go to display and see grout shading and subdivision surface so we have problem let's solve it select this body again hide subdivision and see shading layers click this icon right mouse and loop path cut okay let's make lines for smooth object after subdivision surface okay and one line here or here okay let's see let's enable subdivision surface nice not bad go to display and grouted shading nice very smooth so in this time select this object and go to display shading lines Okay. Select this again, make editable and select this edge tool. Right mouse, loop path cut and make lines. Okay. 
let's make subdivision surface and select this object one move to inside subdivision let's close this subdivision surface body okay nice let's see with shading nice very nice i like it so let's select this object and move to down and right good so in this time select this object and hide subdivision select this edge or this icon and go to select loop selection hold shift select this loop and hold shift again select this loop then right mouse extrude and move to down okay let's enable subdivision surface okay maybe not bad go to display and ground is shading nice i like it like this it's very cool so in this time let's make texture uv mapping and let's open this subdivision surface and select this body and see here texture let's click and we can change uv mapping let's change projection cylindral okay and change offset v 30 and length v 85 and there is 84 tiles 19 and okay not bad this is nice texture let's click render nice so let's select this object and hide okay select this body go to edge tool and right mouse loop path cut okay let's click this icon and go to select ring selection select here let's hide subdivision okay select this ring and click move to move to up okay and let's click subdivision like this and select this icon right mouse loop path cut and let's make lines and here okay click this icon move to and let's unhide this object and we can move the object up okay nice so let's go to after effects and element 3d for make shading and animation mm -hmm. 